Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. On today's video, we're on Microsoft's Flight Simulator 220 and we're talking about the crash to desktop since the update five has been released last week. Now, everyone's been complaining about it. There are so many bugs and glitches with this new sim update five. I am crashing to desktop when I'm trying to use the A320 Neo fly-by-wire. It has been removed from the marketplace so the developers actually do know there is a problem with this aircraft and it's not the only aircraft as well it's causing a crash to desktop i'm finding the amphibious blue mesh flying rib is causing it as well so i've had to uninstall that as well let's go to profile we go to hangar we're going to change aircraft i've got the the normal stock a320 neo there we'll scroll down and this is the fly-by-wire simulations A320 Neo Leap, which is causing the problem. Like I said, it's been removed from the marketplace. I know it's got a library on there. I've used it without the library. I've used it with nothing in my community folder and it doesn't make a difference. As soon as I select this aircraft and try and, try and fly it, it just literally crashes the desktop. So we go back to home, we've picked the uh, the fly-by-wire, we go to world map, let's scroll down, we'll pick an airport anywhere. We go to South End. Straight away, it's crashed. It didn't even give me the loading screen where it usually crashes. It's happened straight away. So if you are having that problem, I would recommend not picking the A320. If I don't pick the A320, I pick something else, it will load. I'm going to actually load back into the game. I'm going to fast forward this bit until we get back into the world map. I'll pick a different aircraft, show you that the A320 fly-by-wire is still in my hangar, but I'm just picking a different aircraft and it will just load into the airport that I choose. Right, I'm back. I got interrupted there. My son uh, FaceTimed me. Yeah, he's got a golden retriever puppy. Well, it's a year old. It's just ripped the uh, like the pad off when he was taking it for a walk. He's just took it to the emergency vets to subscribe some antibacterial foam. They're not even treated it and charged him 180 quid. Man, them vets must be loaded. Anyway, let's move on. So. If you go and have a look at the previous time on the screen, I've probably been away for 10 minutes. It's been idling on this home screen now. We're going to go back to profile. We're going to switch from the Neo fly-by-wire, which is causing the problem. A lot of people have said they've deleted it. I don't find deleting it makes a difference. If I don't use it, then I don't get the crash. Right, profile, go to hangar. We're going to change the aircraft altogether. And we'll go to, uh, what else have we got in here? We'll go to the, uh, the Boeing 747. Let's have a look at it. Make sure it's displaying the third party library. No, it's not. We'll just go to world maps and change it there. the British Airways in we'll select a departure airport we'll go from Colton Shore we we'll use the live time we we'll press fly and it should not give me any problems with crashing to desktop using a different plane so like I said in the video it's the A320 fly-by-wire it's been removed from the marketplace and also I find it with the blue mesh flying rib crashes to desktop as well so I've actually removed that from my inventory I can still like download it back after it's been fixed and we're back on the runway no crashes we're back to normal so if you are finding that you're getting a crash into desktop and you do have that a320 fly-by-wire Neo. Also, I found out I'm using an Xbox controller. If I unplug it, it's not plugged in. If I plug it in now, one of the hot fixes is when you plug in a preferential, it would crash back to desktop. 
it just recognizes it. I press keep default, press resume, and I'm able to uh, showcase the Boeing 747 in the British Airways library. Yeah, so like I said in the video, if you have that plane in your hangar, don't use it. Or if you want to, uh, you can delete it and download it when they fix the glitches that are plentiful in the new SimWorld update. So I hope you like this video. If you're new to this channel, I do make flight simulator videos, also Fortnite videos. So uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and I should get back to you in another video. Thanks for watching.